Puerto Rico was divided into three main geomorphological regions. The mountainous interior, the coastal plains, and the northern karst terrain featuring haystack-shaped hills, crater-like sinkholes, and one of the largest river cave networks in the hemisphere. For centuries, the karst region was inaccessible to all but isolated farmers who never imagined that one of science's most ambitious ventures would connect this marvelous landscape with rotating planets and distant galaxies. In the late 1950s, Bill Gordon and a group of young engineers and scientists from Cornell University dreamed of building a radio telescope on a scale so large, so precise, and so sensitive it could pick up signals many billions of miles a second. They travel in all directions through empty space. When they reach Earth, they are no more noticed than the air we breathe, unless they are collected by an instrument such as the Arecibo dish, the world's largest and most sensitive telescope. Maintaining the telescope's platform requires high wire skills and nerves of steel. And made up of almost 40,000 panels individually adjusted to maintain its spherical shape. 450 feet, 140 meters overhead, a 900-ton platform hangs by cables from three concrete towers. Suspended from the triangular platform is a Gregorian reflector system. Since the dish remains stationary, the telescope's pointing is done by moving the feed up to 20 degrees from a vertical position. The main dish reflects radio waves coming from space and directs them to the Gregorian system. Once detected, the signals are amplified by receivers cooled to near absolute zero, then sent through fiber optic cables to the control room set in a small building wedged between karst hills at the edge of the dish. In the control room, the signals undergo more transformations as they are filtered, converted from analog to digital, sampled, and stored on the hard drive of a computer. Once the data is stored, scientists use computer programs to make images, prepare maps, analyze their findings, and publish the results. Because of the size and sensitivity of the telescope, radio sources that may require several hours of observations at other radio telescopes can be done here in mere minutes. 